You know, I got a feeling that you don't give a shit about yourself. But I know a guy like you don't live out here for four days with a girl like that, not care for a little bit. I will kill her. If you don't tell me what that damn goal is, and I ain't known for my patience. The man is all this shit over, Ginger. Mora! You gotta be fucking kidding me. Man, what's the matter with you, man? You know, that's a damn shit. All this beef we've been going back and forth all these years over, Mark. That shit is too petty, man. I want another drink here! Hey, make that too. Press it for me too. Mara. And when I got home, I kicked that door open and I grabbed her and I laid one on her. I mean, we're talking Clark Gable style, man. And she backs up, and she looked at me, and she said, Ron, we got to break up. <laughs> he was not a punk. He was a person. He was not a screw-up. He was a person. He was not your friend. He was not your boy. He was a person. He was not my grandson. He was not a dreamer. He was a person. Was being the key word. He knows a lot about me, Tom. Like what? South America. Oh, fuck. She said, well, you know, how about a rest, you open up a restaurant, and, and when, I, when I get my degree, I'll run it for you, and I thought, well, fuck you. I'll help you get your fancy degree, and you sit behind a comfy desk, and I'm out front flipping burgers and begging for tips, yeah. Oh, my brain, my poisonous brain. I mean, I flipped it all around. I'll be damned if I am going to put a whore through school so she can be my boss. And I said it to her pretty much like that.